CGC video games pricing and turnaround times have finally been posted. Well, let's talk about it. Thank you to every single Patreon who helps support the channel as well as the YouTube members. I can't do it without you guys. Hit the like button, help out the channel, and let's get into this. So let's just start off with the sealed grading prices. If you're submitting a modern game, sealed is going to cost you 40. If you're submitting a retro game, it's going to cost you 50. Unlike WADA, unlike VGA, CGC is only entertaining two different tiers right now for grading. So these are the minimum price tiers right here, and the only other thing you can choose is walkthrough tier, which will cost you $100 whether it's modern or retro as well as 2% of the fair market value of the item. That insurance premium is nothing new to grading, but it does suck, of course. The $40 and $50 tiers will cover you up to any game worth $2,500, which honestly, that's really good in my opinion. $2,500 will cover like most of the market at this point, right? Unless you're submitting something really premium, $2,500 is going to cover almost everything. If it is over $2,500 in value, again, you have to choose the walkthrough tier where you pay $100 plus 2%. Here's the chart of everything that's included in modern, everything that's included in retro. For the most part, it's exactly what you'd expect. The one big difference though, compared to WADA, CGC is counting PlayStation 2, original Xbox, and GameCube as modern titles, which means you can grade them with CGC for 40 instead of it costing 60 at WADA. So if price is your biggest determination, if you have some of those consoles you've been waiting to grade, you can now do it cheaper through CGC. Of course, CGC is also offering complete in-box services, just like WADA does. Modern is going to cost you 80 on a CIB, and Retro will cost you 100, which is a lot cheaper than WADA games right now, which is still charging $170 minimum for any CIB. So if you do have complete in-box games, if you have been looking to get them graded, it is much, much cheaper to do it through CGC right now. Also with pricing, they do say there's a handling fee of $5 per grading tier per submission. So if it sounds like it's just a $5 tip that you give to CGC on every single submission. Handling fee is what it is again. You're not going to get around it. Just keep it in mind when you get to the checkout and you see that you've been charged an extra $5. One other thing with pricing is you need to purchase a CGC membership in order to even grade your games. Here I am on the submission screen. You can see they are crossed out and it says a paid membership is required to submit games for grading or crossover. Let's go ahead and upgrade. We'll get ourselves up. A membership. So the minimum membership you can get is $25 a year, which gives you full access to grading. You can get even more expensive, more premium memberships, but I assume the vast majority of people are just going to get the $25 tier. That's a per year charge. You can submit as many games as you want with the $25 tier, but again, just keep it in mind. If you want to use CGC right off the bat, you have to give them $25. A couple of cool things that you can do with CGC. You can add a pedigree or a personalization to your label for $10 if you wish. You can add this to the label to indicate a video game status as part of a recognized pedigree collection. As we saw with WADA, there are certain pedigrees floating around now, so I assume if you want that pedigree designation to hold when you cross it over, or maybe you can create pedigrees. I'm not 100% sure there, but that costs $10. As well, the one that some of you might actually consider doing because it's just quirky and fun, you can do personalization, and you can add any kind of personalization to the certification label to indicate a video game's past or present ownership. I'm pretty sure this means on every single game I submit, I could put Greg's game on the label if I wanted to. Obviously, if you're going to be reselling games, I don't recommend you get any kind of personalization on it, but if it's something you're going to be keeping for basically ever, yeah, it could be fun to do. And the turnaround times for every single tier right now, except for walkthrough, are quoted at 30 business days. I have to assume walkthrough is going to be literally a week, maybe a few days. They aren't doing multiple tiers, just 30 business days for anything you submit, which honestly, pretty damn good if they can stick to it. So let's talk about the actual pricing now. Some opinions, some thoughts. Am I going to be submitting with CGC? And please share your thoughts as well. I really like to think of this as a community here, and I would love to hear what you guys think as well. So $40 modern, $50 retro, really, it's about as good as we could have hoped for. A $30 tier would have been incredible, but they basically matched WADA. They even beat WADA with their vintage minimum pricing right now at $50 versus WADA being $60. So really, as far as price is concerned, CGC is now the cheapest option on the market. VGA's minimum is still more expensive as well. So as far as pricing is concerned on sealed games, it's really the best we could have hoped for. Complete in-box pricing, $80 modern, $100 retro. I mean, 
Yes, it's a lot cheaper than WADA at 170, but WADA at 170 is absolutely ludicrous. So I don't even think that should be used as a bar or a metric. $100 for a vintage CIB game to get graded is still very expensive in my opinion. $100 in this hobby goes a long way to be honest. And if I'm going to be spending $100 simply to authenticate and grade a game, I could just use that money to go and buy a different game. That's where I always get stuck with these really expensive grading fees. I could just go and purchase purchase another game for the collection. I get it if you're going to be selling something, if you need it authenticated, graded, get it sold, I fully get it. I do that myself as well, I'll just eat the grading fee so I can sell the game. But for those personal collection items, that $100 to grade a vintage CIB game, I'll probably still be leaving a lot of my complete in box games raw. I do get it, authenticating and grading CIBs takes a lot more time, a lot more effort than sealed games, but... Even if I get it, I can also still say I don't want to pay $100. And for the walkthrough tier, to be able to do $100 on a sealed game there or $200 on a CIB, that's really not bad, especially if it is really a few days or a week to get your stuff graded. That really isn't that bad. CGC's pricing and turnaround times, like I said, are basically the best we could have hoped for. This pricing should absolutely incentivize people to at least try CGC. Which is what I will be doing too. I will be submitting stuff to CGC. I need to get my order submitted soon here. I do want to be part of the early submission so I do get my stuff back in time. Who knows how backlog they might get right off the launch. As a reminder, again, they are taking Switch, PS5, 3DS, PSP, PS Vita. There are a lot of things with CGC that I'm sure a lot of people are going to send in, especially given the pricing and turnaround time. I'm super excited to see the actual CGC scale in practice. I want to know how they grade. I want to understand how they cross over. I'm going to be sending off a decent amount of stuff here just to get a gauge of the different levels of the scale. Let me know if you're going to be submitting with CGC now that we have the information. Submissions are open, so let me know what you're going to be sending, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.